my passion for promoting consonants is as strong today as it was when I first started. And I think one of the, the stories that I can relate back to was um, when I was looking after a, a young girl with MS. She had a little daughter and her husband um, was her carer as well. She had had a relapse of her condition and it relatively kept her housebound. So going and working with this lovely woman for a few weeks intensely, using lifestyle modifications, medication, um, teaching her procedures that she could carry out herself to try and improve her, her overall quality of life and improve her, her um, bladder dysfunction. So I could see as time went on that she was um, getting much better, which was good, and her self-confidence was returning. So I didn't really have anything to do with her after that. But a few months later, I got a lovely card saying, well, it was obviously from Mum, but it said from Lily, thank you for, um, for making my mummy better. So that was quite inspiring. And I think that it's a story that touched my heart, as you can see. And it will continue to inspire me and to motivate myself and the team to deliver safe, effective care to our patients and the wider economy. So where have my leadership, my leadership influences come from? Well, on reflection, I've had two very key people in my life, one, in, one personally and one professionally. The first person was my aunt, who was born with a physical disability and a wheelchair user. And she fought to receive an education, and she was actually 24 before she got to school. And she was 30 um, when she finally qualified as a teacher. She proved to be a successful teacher, then head of department, and finally on the senior management team. I think her experiences taught me not to judge people and just to see each member of staff as an individual, and most importantly, to recognise their unique set, set of needs as well as their potential. The second person that's influenced me is my manager. She has been both an inspirational and transformational leader with clear visions and goals for her team. She has ensured the staff are encouraged to continue to develop their skills and their knowledge, um, and to apply their, the theories they're learning to new practices as new and innovative areas develop within the service. I've been encouraged to develop both my clinical and leadership skills within our team. I finished my degree by undertaking a leadership module, which inspired me to, deliver, uh, to develop my leadership skills a bit further. I was privileged to undertake the Mary Seacole program, which I completed this year, which was an experience, I have to say. <laughs> um, the program has given me a greater understanding of myself, my strengths and weaknesses, and helped me to identify the type of leader and role model that I want to be, and to understand the skills and needed for me to achieve this. More recently as well, I've been working with the leadership group on producing this excellent leadership model created around our trust values.